Hello, my name is Ken of Agilent Technologies. Today, I would like to show you how to measure low resistance. This slide shows you how to measure a resistor by general four wire ohm measurement. Use a DC current source to force current and measure the voltage drop across the resistor by voltmeter. Four wire measurement is a common method to eliminate the effect of lead resistance. If you can force current so that the voltage drop across the resistor would be large enough, then you can easily reduce measurement noise. If your device is easily damaged or don't want to be heated up, or you want to force a specific current, then efficient method is to use a DC current source with a nanovoltmeter. Today, I'd like to show you how to measure a 10 milliohm resistor by using B2961A and 34420A. B2961A is a voltage current source. I'll use this as a DC current source. 34420A is a nanovoltmeter to measure the voltage. This is the connection diagram. High force and low force terminal of B2961A is connected to the resistor. Terminals of 34420A are connected about the same way. These two instruments are controlled with a PC by a GPIB interface. Trigger output of B2961A is connected to external trigger input of 34420A to synchronize these two instruments. This is the 10 milliohm resistor. Connect the current source to these terminals and the nanovoltmeter to these terminals. You can customize the measurement settings such as force current, integration time of the voltmeter, and also other parameters. Now let's repeat the ohm measurement and plot the measured resistance value. Force current is set to 1 milliamps and the integration time is set to 10 PLC. Let's start the measurement. Here's the measurement result. You can see that the measurement noise is about 5 micro ohms and less than 0.1% of measured resistance value. Even if the force current is small such as 1 milliamps, we can achieve a stable measurement. This is a measurement result of four different force current. The vertical bar shows the standard deviation. It shows that the standard deviation getting smaller when forcing a large current. You can set the best force current regarding the noise and the damage of the device. If you'd like to have more information, you can visit our website currently showing below. Thank you.